Hi viewers, in this video we are going to write a program to check whether a given number is prime or not in Perl. Let us start with the program now. So I have opened my Perl IDE, it's Padre. So let us create a new file, file and go to new Perl file script. Zooming in using my control key on the keyboard and the mouse crawler and let us write a comment stating that program to check a number is prime or not. Right? So, the statement is not necessary here. So, in order to check whether a given number is a prime or not, first and the foremost, we have to know what exactly a prime number is. We can say that a number n is a prime number if it is divisible by 1 and itself and such that it should not be divisible by any of the digits that come under intermediate between 1 and n that is starting from 2, 3 and so on still n minus 1 digits and if this given n value is not divisible by any of these digits starting from 2 to n minus 1 then this number is said to be a prime number. We can say that a given number is divisible or not if we check out the reminder. In order to check out the reminder, we are going to have an operator with Perl known as a modular operator, which is percentile symbol. So we need to divide n, that is 2 modular, sorry, n modular 2, n modular 3, n modular 4, so on, n modular n minus 1 digits we need to perform. If any of them is going to give us a reminder 0, then we can say that n is no more a prime number. If it is not divisible by any of those digits, we can say that it's a prime number. For example, if n, if we if we perform the modular operation with n with 2 and we found that n is divisible by 2, then it is not necessary to proceed with the operations to check out whether it is divisible with 3 and other numbers. So, we can stop the process at 2 itself. Okay. So, we need a number n and we are going to use a modular operation and we are going to have, uh, I, we are going to have a set of values which are starting from 2 to n minus 1 value in order to store this respective values I am going to use a variable known as i. So let us consider so n is needed, i is needed and we need a modular operator fine. So coming to the program so we need an, a number we need a number n so mod or uh, scalar variable n I am going to create and we need to take the input into n value so I am asking the machine to Give, give a respective value to ask me that enter a positive integer and in order to take the input we have the statement on as stdin everything is in capsule lock and we need to store the taken input into n and we know that we need to chomp the n value because uh, slash n is going to be stored so I am chomping here itself passing the entire content over here so we got n value fine now we have to consider uh, i value dollar i whose value initially starts from 2 yes now we need to check the process of repetition we need to check the process of repetition from we need to compare we need to perform the modular operation of n with 2 next with 3 next with n minus 1 so we need to iterate the i value and we have to perform the modular operation with and, and modular with 2, 3 and so on. This has to be repeated. So as it is an iterative process, we need to use a looping statement. So I am using a looping statement known as while. So here I have to perform the operation uh, about from the logic condition is dollar i should be less than or equal to still dollar and minus 1. So these many number of iterations we are going to perform. And the body of the loop is to check if dollar n is modular operator with dollar i is going to result as zero. In case if it is going to result as zero, we can stop the process. So you can stop the process. So we can we can say that it is divisible. So there needs to be an indication. For for an indication, I'm creating another scalar variable known as status. So status is going to be set to one when the number is divisible. That is n is divisible by something else to check out if the status is 1 I can say that it is a pri it's not a prime number. So once it is divisible by at least one of the number I can stop the process for which 
I have to come out of this looping iteration process. I'm using a statement on as last. So last is going to break the entire loop and we are going to come out of the loop. So this is a new scalar variable status. I'm going to declare it over here. Dollar status. As these are two variables, I'm going to put them as a list. So and the list of the values are going to be initiated. So initially I'm going to put zero. So two is for I and zero is for status. So once we come out of the loop, we need to check whether this respective loop is uh, this respective number is uh, prime or not. The, is it prime or not is going to be decided by status. So if if my scalar variable dollar status is going to be equal to zero, so if it is equal to zero, it clearly indicates that it's a prime number. So I can state that printing stating that it's here it's in the sense here dollar n is a is a prime number and I can stop the process some slashes and end of the statement is this one and in case if this is not going to occur in case if the status is one then I have to go for the else part uh, stating that dollar n is not a prime number so this is the entire code uh, let us check whether our code is working fine or not okay so if any kind of errors comes we shall check it out and I'm saving my program it's prime prime number dot plx okay so in order to run the program we need to press uh, run script so it is asking me to enter a positive number uh, let us enter the number as something like 5 oh sorry we have encountered some uh, it's it's not it's stopping the process let us quit it here we said the dollar high needs to be running and it should be incremented for every value so press enter dollar i plus plus because i value is not getting changed i value is too it's fixed so it is performing the operation so i made a mistake fine let us now recheck once again i'm i'm running the script once again asking for a number number five yes five is a prime number we are with output now test with another output pressing f5 i entered four five four is not a prime number yes fine it's it's working uh, very perfectly so this is the program about uh, to check whether a given number is prime or not using Perl. For more programs and for more videos and music, subscribe to my channel and give your valuable comments. Thank you.